Good morning. So, my break was a little weird. I know I ha you haven't seen me in a while on this channel. I say on this channel because on my gaming channel, I threw up s on Blue Pebbles on YouTube. Um, Pebbles is the name of my cat, and blue is just the color, and I put them together, made a gaming name, I guess. It's not something I'm attached to. I can change it in the future. I'm actually thinking about some names, but I'm not really thinking about them. It's just Blue Pebbles is okay for now, so I'm using it and I'm running with it. So, I just worked. Uh, it is January 3rd. Um, I just got off work. Well, it's been I've been off work for a while. I've been scrolling my phone for no good reason with my car running, which is probably not good for fuel. I <coughs> <coughs> However, I feel like balls, which is fine. Here, let me let that defrost a little bit. Sorry, I was blocking in my thumb while I was doing things. So anyways, um, while I was off, my work gave us some uh, lack of pay. Um, so I worked that Wednesday I was supposed to work. And then the Thursday before Christmas Eve, I went to work at 8. And then on Christmas Eve, the 24th, I left around 5.15. That, all that time was accounted for. Fine. 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 And then... For Christmas Eve, they gave me eight hours of work. Which, I wouldn't have worked anyway, so that's fine. That's eight hours. And then on Christmas Day, they were going to give me another eight hours. But, it didn't go for On my time card, it goes on the 25th. Which is weird. Weird. That's weird, right? That's weird. We don't like that. That's weird. That's so weird. So, on the 27th, I got another eight hours instead of a lack of work day, which they give, uh, so that's that Monday after Christmas that I would have worked, because, uh, Christmas Eve was Friday, and then Saturday was Christmas, and then Sunday I would have been off anyway, and then Monday I should get a lack of work day, which would be 12 hours, but no, they put Christmas on the 27th, on the 28th I got a lack of work, and then... I didn't work on the 29th, and I didn't work on the 30th, um, but I was supposed to work on the 31st, but they didn't give me a lack of work week day on the 31st. They gave me New Year's, an eight-hour pay, a New Year's eight-hour holiday pay on the 31st, and then on New Year's Day... They gave me a 12-hour uh, lack of work. Which I'm trying to figure out. Why? Why would they do it that way? I feel like I'm missing some time because... If I'm not working B schedule... And I'm supposed to work... Uh, I feel like... I mean, if I'm not working B schedule and I'm working, say... I think it's D at night. So, just to get at the opposite schedule. Um, I would be off the days before shutdown. The two days before shutdown. And then... Wow. They got a really long break. A really long break. That's awesome for them. Man. That's awesome. They could have planned something to go somewhere. But... Um, they would only get the two holidays side by side, uh, and then one lack of work, maybe. Mm. Well, I don't know. I just feel like the way they moved them around is a little weird. I feel like holiday pay is independent of other things. Well, at least it's supposed to be. I can look it up. I don't know how holiday pay works. <clears throat> Mm. Mm -mm. I'm sorry I'm doing this on camera But it's a habit I need a break So I'm going ahead and documenting it This is a habit I want to break My skin While working in this uh, Textile mill Making string to make carpets My hands get dried out And they start chapping And flaking 
And when they flaked off so far, that one's not quite ready, but when it does flake more, I chew them off. It's just really satisfying eh, 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 between my teeth, you know? Maybe you don't know. Maybe some of you do. Uh, well, there is nobody. Nobody's been viewing these for the past nine days, so that's fine. I mean, it's it really is fine. It's more like a diary. It kind of helps me organize myself, I guess. I wish I would have had time to do it over my break. I was going to do a couple getting stuff done videos. But I ended up just getting some stuff done. Not as much as I had planned to get done during my break. Ugh. Did I tell you that I work today and then I'm off two days? Like, why did I even come back today? Why didn't we come back the 5th? Why wouldn't they start on a pay period? It's weird. It's weird. On the start of a pay period, it's weird. But I wonder if I'm going to get a good check. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see when I get paid. I don't think I've gotten paid yet. I need to check my time. But, anyways. Uh... And Harry Potter, I didn't read over my break either. Wow, I can't believe I didn't do that. I mean, it would have been easy, but I had so many other things on my mind. So, uh, in Harry Potter, I just now only got to read, like, five pages. Um, but anyways, he went to go to... He's in the Ministry of Magic. And I got a couple of questions about the Ministry of Magic. Why do they do the things they do the way they do them? Um... One thing in particular that really stands out to me. Uh, well, two things. One, they got rid of owls because it was messy. And they used paper airplanes. Why can't they do that all the time? I guess it's less suspicious to see an owl flying through Muggle World uh, than just a paper airplane flapping itself. I guess. I guess that's the reason. That's the reason I came up with. But why owls in particular? Why not other birds too? Aren't there birds much faster than the owl? I assume. I haven't looked it up. Are owls the fastest? Ooh, are owls the fastest bird? Why? Why? What? Or are they just the most magical looking birds because when they spread their little feet, their freaking whole torso area is not a torso area, it's foot area. It's weird. Have you ever seen an owl stand? It looks weird. But uh, I don't know why weird is my thing right now, but um, I just kind of get stuck onto it. I need to fix my hair. Uh, I'm tying it back. Ugh, killing myself. My water heater's been on the fritz still. I need to get a new water heater. Uh, I turned off multiple times uh, over the past few days. I feel like ass. I felt like ass a couple days ago. Um, but I took a bunch of NyQuil and I slept almost for 24 hours. It was insane. I went to bed, I'd say... Yesterday was... Uh, yesterday was the 2nd. I went to bed on New Year's Day and ate something at night. And then I woke up today, I mean, well, yesterday, the, spurt, the second, around five. You do the math. Say I went to bed latest at nine o'clock because it was around eight last I saw. So nine to five. You would think that's an eight hour night because that's nine to five. No, no, no. It's 8 plus 12. Was that continuous sleep? No, I woke up a little bit and I stirred and I went around. But I kept falling back asleep. I didn't leave the bed. For 8 plus 12 hours. 20 hours. 20 hours. Wow. But then I woke up feeling a lot better. So feeling like I asked and then you sleep like that. Wow. So now I need to drink a lot more water. I need to tell myself to do that today. Since I'm off today, I'm going to try to stay up. I'm going to take some Dayquil because my nose is running a little bit. Um, yeah, but okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But anyways, uh, oh, fuck the Minister of Magic. Why do they have um, a chain pulled elevator slash lift, 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 lift? In the Ministry of Magic? Using old style mechanical ways in the Ministry of Magic? Uh, uh. And I was also wondering what the flip is up with a magical train? And there are other magical ways they can move around. Why they gotta use a steam powered engine? 
Huh. I wonder if they are burning coal. It's fossil fuels. I wonder if they rely on them fossil fuels to get to Hogwarts. There's a lot of weird inconsistencies, and I want to go back through the series after I'm done reading it for pleasure. But I hate that my brain is already doing this and analyzing and trying to figure things out. Um, I want to read it for pleasure, and then I want to read it again to understand the world. And so I can make videos about it, because that's what I want to do. I'm going to see if there's already videos about it, and if there is, like, a map of everything. Like, basically what I want to do is draw a map of every character and, like, all their traits and all the important things that they do and make a video about each important character and then, like, a quick video making all the fucking... Sorry. All the side characters. But I also want to make videos going chapter by chapter and, like, analyzing it and seeing what happens in the story. Um... And basically, Harry Potter for people who don't feel like reading it, but also, like, I'll give a big disclaimer, please read the series. It's really good, but if you just want to be caught up, uh, like, really caught up, like, I want to give a good, a good analysis of it. Like, I want to do a summary video for each book, and a summary for each chapter of the book within, like, a little series. Like, I'll do the chapter by chapter, I guess, as I reread them again, I'll start taking notes this time. Um, I'm not going to do that anytime soon. I have a bunch of other books lined up that I want to do, that I want to read. Um, I read Plato's Republic. I want to do a video on the Republic. I want to read it again and, like, understand it better. Um, take notes this time, I guess. Um, but also I have school coming up. There's a lot of things coming up. Um, but yeah, maybe not a whole lot of things coming up for YouTube, but a whole thing coming up for my life. Uh, but I feel like I've been chatting your ear off for a long time now. So, um, I'll see you later. I guess. Uh, I feel like there was some other stuff I wanted to talk about. I got a piano. I want to start writing music. I want to make a video about, um, manifesting it now. I want to make a video about learning the piano. Because, like, really, I can just mess around and be like, Ooh, these sounds sound cool. Together. And then I'll put on the brass mode in the R&B section and be like, Vroom, vroom. It sounds really cool, but, like, is it, like, to the trained ear, does it sound like, this person's trash. I don't want to make music, but this person's trash. You know? I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that person. I want to learn the skill. But I think I want to produce a song before I learn it. Like, Piano Novice writes a song just making cool noises. Like, there was this video about outsider music I saw, and right now I'm an outsider. But as soon as I learn, like, music theory properly, am I an outsider anymore? <gasps> Will I never be able to make an outsider music again? <clears throat> but you know what? I have this book that's supposed to teach piano, and I want to go through it with my daughter. So I don't want to hold off on it that long. So I want to make this song soon. I'll say, if I can't look at, like, a sim like your simplest composer piece like in the sheet music and do an okay job playing it I don't know music yet so I can still teach my daughter and learn with my daughter and then also make an outsider music piece right right like I well uh, maybe after I've mastered all the scales before I've mastered all the scales I need to put out a song you know okay I think that's a good version that's a good compromise with myself before I learn all the scales, I need to put out a song. I need to write a song. Record a song or whatever. It's not like I can transpose it. Or whatever the word is. I think it's transposing. I'm not sure. I might be completely wrong. This started peeling more. It looks gross. I'm sorry. And I'm picking at it. Ah, another habit. Ah. Biting my nails is a bad habit. I need to fix that this year. Ah. I say, we put, we as humans, we like separate our tasks and goals and arbitrary chunks of time, which I guess help us get them done. But like waiting until the new year to start something, it's kind of BS. There's no reason to do that. Like if you have the goal, the best time to start is now. I know you feel more motivated, like on a Monday to start something or like on New Year's to start something. But if you only start on New Year's and you feel like you can only change in New Year's, 
you're gonna be like stationary for a long portion of your life. Say you only make it to 50. You waited a whole 50th of your life, which doesn't sound a lot, it's 2%. Wow, just start something new. Well, say you mess up that time. You're like, oh well, it's February now, I'll just wait until next year to try again. Whew. Now you're up to four years. You know how easy it is for habits to break if you don't keep trying them like in closer together increments? Your life's gonna roll on by and you're not gonna make any progress towards what you wanna do. And I know there's a lot of people that say set a time and date for it. That's good, but find a place to start first. Don't bog yourself down yet. And I watched this TED talk that says in the first 20 hours is when you can get reasonably okay at something. You're not gonna get great at it, but you know the, the 10,000 hours rule, to be an expert at something isn't just to be good at it. Most of the time to be okay at something, like pretty good, like all right, it takes 20 hours, says this TED talk. Have I tested this theory? No, but would I like to? Yes. The first 20 hours of me learning piano, the first 20 hours of me learning to sing, the first 20 hours of whatever. You know, I think I wanna make like a learning stuff series maybe as well. I know I want to take the Minecraft world I'm working on and make 100 days because I just think it's, it'd be cool to see how I, what I actually did on the 100 days of Minecraft, how I actually spent my time. But right now I'm just live streaming that on Blue Pebbles. It's fine. But anyways, I talked for a lot longer than I wanted to talk. Um, I love you. Goodbye. I feel like, okay, okay, here's a little argument I want to settle. Sorry, I just started picking my nose. Ew, gross. Um, some people say when you say I love you, it like unstrengthens the word. Like it weakens the word or whatever. I don't know. I've been talking for way too long and I started this like over 10 minutes past when I got out of work. So it's like almost 30 minutes uh, that I've been out here just in the parking lot. Uh-oh, I don't want that. But it's already happened. I don't know why I said I don't want that. I mean, it already happened. But I don't want that to have happened. There you go. You grammar. Um, but anyways, I don't think so. I think you should spread love wherever it goes. Like, I love you all as people. I think that's a valid form of love. I love you all as, like, individual people. You are all humans. People. Like, any of you that I get is an actual person who is taking time out of their day to look at this little vlog, and I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you for coming around. Um, so I guess it's not appropriate, I mean, it's not inappropriate to say I love you, goodbye, bye-bye. I know you'll be back. What if I brought that back? I've kind of missed that from when I was 16, just showing my mouth. <sighs> I know you'll be back. Oh, I need a lot my teeth, I don't know. Is whitening your teeth bad for them? Let me know.